perfect Sunday to be planting some seeds. So here I have mint. I have basil. I also have rosemary. Next to this one I'll do padrons. I'm sure we'll get some celery out of this. some seeds today. I have already planted some artichokes in January and they are looking really really good. I just refilled some soil in there and as you could see previous clips I filled these up with soil that I'm going to plant the seeds in. I'm standing here in my newly renovated a growing room slash studio where I'm going to do all of my planting and looking after my seedlings here in these two shelves that I painted as you could see in my last video. I also painted the walls and I feel like this lovely sage green is just perfect for this room and the room is quite narrow so I don't have a really good filming setup yet. So half of this video where I'm planting the seeds, you're not gonna see my face. But that's not what I wanted to show you today anyway, so <laughs> let's get started. As you can see, the sun is shining today. It's perfect Sunday to be planting some seeds. I have my seed organizer here that I have. It's actually for photo albums, but I keep it for all my seeds and I've seen Many YouTubers do the same, it's just brilliant. And I usually categorize them by vegetable or flower uh, or seed. <laughs> uh, but now I've actually moved most of them into a category per month. So I have February, March, April, uh, May, uh, and then fall seeds at the back. So I'm gonna pick up my February box. In this one we have these slightly bigger pots. I going I'm going to do my herbs because I find it way easier to just sprinkle them on in like a bigger pot and then uh, replant. Uh, this, this is going to be the permanent uh, 
pots before I plant them outside so I'm not gonna need to replant them. And in here I have a smaller tray with smaller cells. It's 24 cells in one. And in here I'm going to plant all my peppers and all of that. So I'm gonna start with the herbs. So here I have mint. I have basil. This one is almost empty because I used it last year, so I'm probably gonna use some of this one. I, I also have rosemary. I'm gonna go two for each herb. And I'm also going to plant some peppers and chilies and some aubergine um, and celery. So here I have padron. It's a sweet kind of pepper. I mean, it's not super spicy, at least not the ones I buy at the store. So I have these one and we love to grill them or blister them in a pan during summer with some lime and sea salt and it's just so, so good. So I wanna plant a few. I think I'm gonna do a row of four of this one. And we'll see if we have more space. I can always do some more, so I'm gonna do this one last. I have jalapeno, and this one I'm not gonna do a lot of because um, we don't eat a lot of chili and spice in, in my household. And here in Sweden, I don't think it's gonna have time to ripen like a, a big, big quantity on the plant, so I'm not gonna eat the red. The ripened jalapeno anyway so we're gonna eat the green and that's you know the unripe version so that works out good in that way but yeah i like to pickle them i'm gonna give a few to my mom she loves jalapenos so yeah i'm gonna do the jalapeno and the chili pepper the cayenne that i did last year it was very very prolific but i'm not gonna do as much as i did last year i'm probably gonna do two plants of this one and then I have the sweet, regular bell peppers. Yeah, I really, really like this one. I don't know what it's called in English. Mm. I'm gonna write it on the screen here. Uh, they are a bit sweeter than a regular bell pepper and you can stuff them, you can grill them. They are just really, really delicious. So I'm gonna do probably four cells of this one too. And I'm probably gonna go ahead with four cells of the regular bell pepper because last year they didn't have time to ripen. Better luck this year. And then I have the aubergine. I didn't have any luck with at all last year. So I'm gonna do four of this one and then probably four or six or so of this one. Oh, it's uh, celery. The mint seeds are absolutely tiny. They're even smaller than a poppy seed. Oh, can't even see them. I'm probably gonna do all of it. Since they are so, so tiny. I've never actually sown uh, mint seeds before. So I didn't know they were this small. We love basil in our family, not only because my boyfriend is Italian, because it's so versatile and it's just so good in everything, with fish, with meat, in salad. It's just delicious, with our homegrown tomatoes as well. Since the seeds were so small, I'm gonna spread some vermiculite over on top so they still get that moisture. Even though they are sown by the surface of the soil, they'll get the moisture that they need. This also prevents mold and algae growing on top of the so soil. And of course, tagging them.
So I'm going to do two jalapeno and two chili de cayenne here. So this row will be chili peppers. So then I know. It's always a good idea to plant one extra seed to make sure you get the amount of vegetables of that plant that you want. But in this case I'm gonna do two because I would be happy to have two survive and produce uh, but I won't be sad if there's just one since we don't eat a lot of chili as I mentioned. I think we will have plenty and also still be able to give some away. And if these don't germinate, I still have a little bit of time to re sow them. So the chilies are done. Now I'm going to do the <laughs> bell pepper that I don't know the name of in English. Um, I mean, it looks like this is elongated. And I'll do the regular bell pepper. It's called California Wonder. Next to this one I'll do padrons. This room is the room that gets the most sun in the whole house. That's why I chose this one to be my studio slash growing room. I feel like it's just so so uplifting and I get energized when I'm in here. So it's very suitable for this to be a growing room. It has that energy and some light, of course. Very good for the plants. And then I'll do the aubergine and the celery. I'm actually not very sure how to plant celery. I've never done it before, it's the first. <laughs> um, because they are so small, I assume you plant them maybe three or four in one cell. You should plant them above the soil because they are so small. So that's what I'll do. I'm just gonna plop a few of them in there and we'll see. I'm sure we'll get some celery out of this. Excuse this mess over here. <laughs> and last but not least, aubergine. I really, really hope I succeed this year. Not that I'm a super huge fan of aubergine. I don't know why I really, really wanna soak them. It's like a challenge. <laughs> I like to challenge myself. And since they grow in like warmer climates, I just really want to see if I can grow them here. I just get really eager and I just wish that I could plant way more than this. But we are on, we are on our way. Um, we have a lot of seeds over here to plant. March is going to be a huge planting month. I have so many seeds. Um, so I'm going to put this on my new growing shelves here with some lights. Uh, I'm still waiting on the other lights for the other shelves, so I think it's a good thing that I don't uh, sew too much now because they won't have any lighting.
Thank you for watching this video. I'm so excited to be kicking off the 2024 garden season. Take care. Bye-bye.